Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and above all, uh, ex-recruits who are now firefighters graduating from the 2008 course, ladies and gentlemen. Today is quite an important occasion. It's an important occasion for those who were a few minutes ago recruits. It's an important occasion for their families and it's an important occasion for the CFA as a whole. But more than just being important today, it's relatively unique. It's, I suppose you can't be relatively unique. You're either unique or you aren't, so we'll say it's unique. It's unique because we are presenting two Valor medals. Valor medals are quite rare. In fact, the last time the CFA presented Valor medals was nine years ago. Today, firefighter Matthew Kneebone and firefighter Adam Shearer will receive Valor medals for their extraordinary courage during a confined rescue, Hamilton, a rescue event at Hamilton in December 2007. The event was both horrific, tragic and sad. In particular, it was sad because the community lost a valuable member of that community and it hurts even a little bit more because that member was also a CFA member. And in that regard, on, on behalf of the CFA, can I again today offer our condolences to the family and friends of Mr Bruce Hartwick who died in that, traveling, in that tragic incident. Can I also acknowledge, because it wasn't just a CFA effort, can I also acknowledge the assistance of other CFA members and volunteers, SES members, ambulance service members and Victoria Police who in that family of emergency services attended that particular, interest, uh, that particular incident. It's important to realise that the CFA Valor Medal is, is awarded in cases of extraordinary life-threatening events or circumstances. There are two essential criteria for the award of this medal. The first one is the action itself Actions are to be clearly directed towards saving lives or attempting to save lives. The incident we're talking about well and truly qualifies in that regard. The second, and an even more sobering fact, is that the actions that were undertaken must have occurred in circumstances which posed a grave risk to the person or persons undertaking the action. And that also applies, I think, equally in these circumstances. I think it's important for the recipients to recognise that the standards in the fire services are very high. What normal people would expect as normal behaviour is not what we expect. We expect more than normal behaviour. And so in some circumstances, that behaviour, that fire service behaviour, in itself would be regarded as extraordinary. When the fire service itself says the behaviours are over and above that, it's extraordinary indeed. Since the formation of the CFA, there have been 10 uh, be, sorry, prior to the formation of the CFA, there were 10 Valor Awards given by the old Country Fire Brigades Board. Just for a moment or two, let's dwell on what some of those were. In 1918, firefighter Michael Shelley, also of Geelong, I don't know what they've got going down there in Geelong, but there's a few Geelong appearances, um, was given an award for rescuing a young woman inside a birding factory. There was none of the sophisticated equipment we have today that was a pure guts and strength type rescue um, and was the first one, as I said, in 1988, 1918. The firefighter balanced on a windowsill, reached down to her without any assistance and relying purely on his strength, hauled that woman by the arms to safety. It was the extraordinary determination and strength that saved a woman's life. And as I said, it's coincidentally again today that the awards go to people from a Geelong City Fire Brigade. Other instances, a CFA captain stood on in the early days, stood on the roof of a burning car and with a crowbar, much to his own peril, managed to open a couple of doors and save the trapped occupants. A CFA station officer leapt into the sea to rescue two colleague firefighters who were being dragged down by heavy equipment. A CFA captain rescued an elderly woman from, down a, danger, from a dangerous situation down an old mine shaft and a 17-year-old CFA member who were four others rescued the crew of a downed RAAF aircraft 18 miles off the shore in Gippsland. As I said, our standards are high, but sometimes there are circumstances that are even above and beyond the standards we expect. And in addition to that, there are circumstances where people do extraordinary things and aren't noticed. So I would ask the recipients of today's award to accept them on their, on their own behalf because they deserve that, but also to accept them on behalf of all those others who do extraordinary things and perhaps don't come to the initial notice. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and I'd now be pleased to move down and present those awards to, to firefighters concerned.